everyone, it's Calculus by Christy, and in this video we're going to look at problem number three on both the AP Calculus AB and BC exams from the year 2023. Now, upon recording of this video, the rubrics have not been posted online yet, but once they are posted, I will make sure to link them in the description below, so take a look at that. And also, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you are notified when the rest of the 2023 questions are posted. All right, let's take a look at question number three. Question number three was the good old milk problem. All right, and in part A, we needed to look at the slope field that was given to us for this differential equation and sketch the solution curve through the given point 0, 05. So I would mark that point and then you're going to follow the slope field, follow those little tangent lines until you reach the horizontal asymptote that occurs at 40. And you want to make sure to go to both ends of that graph. Now let's look at part B. In part B, it says to use the line tangent to the graph of m at t equals 0 to approximate m of 2. To write the equation of a tangent line, you need two things. You need a point and you need a slope. Well, the point we are given at a time value of 0, it says the temperature of the milk is 5 degrees Celsius. So there is our point. To find the slope at this point, we need to take the slope that was given to us, the dm dt, and plug in 0 if we see a t and 5 if we see an m. So once I do that, I get a slope of 35 over 4. Now I can write the equation of my tangent line, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Plugging in t for x, m for y, and our point and our slope, I get this as my tangent line equation. I'm going to use this to approximate m of 2 by plugging in 2 for t. Once I do that, I get an approximation of 22 and a half degrees Celsius at a time of 2. Now for part C. In part C, we need to find the second derivative, and then we're going to use that second derivative to determine whether the approximation from part B was an over or under estimate. So to find the second derivative, well, 1 fourth is just a constant, so let's leave that out in front. The derivative of 40 is 0, and the derivative of m is dm dt in this case. And you may be thinking, what do I do at this point? Well, I know dm dt. That was given to me in the problem. So with a quick substitution of dm dt, right here, I can see that the second derivative is negative 1 16th times 40 minus m. Well, now I need to use this to determine whether the approximation from part b was an under or over estimate. To do that, I need to determine if m is concave up or concave down. And by looking at the second derivative, I can determine that. So here we have a negative number out in front, and we were told that m is always less than 40. So therefore, this factor right here will always be positive times a negative number. So the second derivative will always be negative for all values of t. What that means is that m is concave down because the second derivative is negative. And when a function is concave down, let me go ahead and draw this on the screen kind of helps to visualize it. When a function is concave down and I draw in the tangent lines, notice all of these tangent lines will lie above the curve. Therefore, when I use a tangent line approximation, that approximation will be an overestimate because m is concave down for all values of t. And now for the last part, part d. Here we had to use separation of variables. So the first thing you want to do is divide over the 40 minus m and multiply over the dt so you can separate those variables. Now we integrate. Don't forget this negative sign on the left side. I'm guessing that that might be a common error that shows up. So we've got negative natural log of the absolute value of 40 minus m equals 1 4th t plus c. I then use the initial condition that at an m value of 5, that the time is 0, so I can plug that in to calculate my constant. And don't forget when you integrate to do include that plus c. So once I calculate c, I get negative natural log of 35. Let's plug that in to this equation right here, the negative natural log of 35 in for my constant. Let's see, what did I do first? I divided everything, both sides by negative 1, 
and then I change to exponential form. Now, when you change to exponential form, it could be positive or negative. And to determine which one it is, you do need to look at the initial condition. And since m was a positive value, we are going to take the positive side of that. And then once you, let's see, solve for m, I get this equation right here of 40 minus 35e to the negative 1 4th t. And I do understand that there are different ways you can write this, but I decided to stop right there. All right, everyone, I hope you found this video useful for problem number three on the AP Calculus AB and BC exams for 2023. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe so that you're notified of the other 2023 FRQ videos once they are posted. All right, everyone, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.